I am inside of Prodigy right now, and you can see this labeling interface that allows me to annotate my cats in photos. Uh, so I'm able to say, hey, here's Noah, and here is Sok. Uh, and these are my two cats, and these are now annotated. Uh, one thing to pay a little bit of attention to is that Noah has a bounding box that is yellow, uh, and Sok has one that's a little bit more blue. So this looks fine. I'm going to hit accept, uh, and now I'm going to label Sok first, and then Noah. But you'll notice as I do this that the colors are now different. Before, Noah had a yellow bounding box, and now Sok has the yellow one. Now, the reason for this is because Prodigy comes with a sensible default. Uh, typically, if I'm drawing these boxes, then every new object needs to look distinct, so every new bounding box also gets a new color. And I can also make this explicit. If I just draw these rectangles for just Sok here, then you can confirm that we just really get all of these different colors. In this one particular use case though, I think it's going to be just a little bit better if one cat has one consistent color. That's just a little detail that I think will make the annotation experience just a little bit better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to configure Prodigy such that each cat gets their own color. Uh, we're going to attach a custom color uh, to a label here. Now to configure these colors, we are going to make a change to the prodigy.json file in the root of our directory. In particular, we're going to add a custom theme key, and this can contain all sorts of settings that we want to customize. Uh, in our case though, we are interested in customizing the labels. And here I can assign a color for each label in my task. So in my case, uh, one label is Noah, and I will just define a CSS color here. And I'll do something similar for a sock. With this configuration done, uh, Noah should consistently get this color and sock should consistently get this color. Uh, I can now also restart the Prodigy server. And when I do, I am back in this interface and I can select Noah. I can select sock. And if I wanted to make a new bounding box for Sok, you'll notice it has the same color. Um, I will remove this one for now, but I can hit accept here. Uh, but what you can also see here is that if I were to move on to the next image, uh, again, Noah would have uh, a distinct color and Sok would also have the custom color here. Now, one thing that's actually pretty cool about this uh, label setting is that you can also change the colors for different labels in different annotation interfaces. So it's not just bounding boxes for images, uh, I can also use this for labels in the named entity recognition uh, recipe. Uh, so I have a little uh, example that I can run to demonstrate that. Uh, note that the person tag here is going to be uh, yellow. And if I were now to run Prodigy with this setting for NER, then again, I get this familiar interface, but if I were now to label my name, then we can see that we indeed get the yellow color here, which is nice. So in this video, I demonstrated a way to add a custom theme, uh, but I've also only just been scratching the surface. Uh, if you're interested in going into a little bit more depth here, uh, you can go to the Prodigy documentation, in particular to this uh, web application section, uh, and then to this theme section over here, uh, and here you can read on lots of other things that you can configure. Uh, so if you're interested in configuring your annotation interface further, uh, then I highly recommend having a look uh, over here.